Hey, I'm Rob Wetcher from Destination Certification, and I'm here to help you pass the CCSB exam. We're going to go through a review of the major topics related to the management plane in Domain 3 to understand how they interrelate and to guide your studies. This is the second of seven videos for Domain 3. I've included links to the other mind map videos in the description below. These mind maps are a small part of our complete CCSP masterclass. As discussed in the previous mind map, the management plane is the central component responsible for controlling, configuring, monitoring, and managing the cloud environment. It provides the interface and tools that allow administrators and users to interact with and manage the cloud infrastructure services and applications. The management plane is the single most significant difference between traditional infrastructure and cloud computing. Instead of controlling a data center configuration with boxes and wires, it is controlled with API calls and web interfaces through the management plane. The management plane provides a fairly dizzying array of capabilities. Let's walk through some of these key capabilities. Scheduling is the capability of the management plane to organize and automate the execution of tasks based on a defined timetable. It ensures that operations such as backups, system updates, and batch processing are performed during optimal times to minimize impact on the system's performance and customers. Orchestration automates the management and coordination of complex computer systems, middleware, and services. Orchestration aims to streamline and optimize routine processes and workflows to ensure consistency and efficiency across environments. Put another way, the cloud is a complex system of systems. Lots of different components that must work together. Orchestration is like the conductor of a symphony, putting all the components to work together in harmony. Maintenance refers to the ongoing care and servicing of systems to keep them running efficiently. It includes activities like updates, patches, and repairs to software and hardware, helping to prevent issues and reduce downtime. The service catalog is a list of the services that a cloud provider offers to its customers. The service catalog typically includes a description of each service, how to request it, and the processes for delivery acting as a central source of information for users and service providers alike. Self-provisioning allows users to set up and launch services or resources on their own without direct intervention from cloud service provider staff. This is what makes on-demand self-service possible. Identity and Access Management manages the identities and users' permissions, ensuring that only authorized individuals can access certain data and resources. Properly managing access to the management plane is critically important from a security perspective. Management APIs enable the automation of tasks, integration with other systems, and customization of workflows. Management APIs allow administrators to interact programmatically with cloud software or hardware systems. The management plane tracks and manages the configuration of software, hardware, and network systems, ensuring consistency and preventing configuration drift. So that's the configuration management that it performs. Key management and encryption manages encryption keys to secure data and communications, ensuring encryption and decryption processes are handled securely. Key management covers the entire life cycle of keys from creation, distribution, rotation, use, recovery, destruction. So the management plane provides this key management encryption service. As a customer of the cloud, you pay for what you use. So the management plane monitors and reports on resource usage, costs, and billing, providing customers visibility into financial data for better budgeting and cost optimization. The management plane essentially keeps track of what a customer owes the cloud provider. Things can and do go wrong in the cloud. So a service desk help desk capability is required to manage user requests, incidents, and support tickets, offering resolutions and hopefully maintaining customer satisfaction. So yet again, another service of the management plane. Let's now move on to look at how you can access the management plane. One of the major ways that customers will interact with the management plane is through a web console a graphical user interface that provides a user-friendly way to interact with the management plane via a web browser. Examples you may be familiar with are the AWS Management Console, the Azure Portal, or Google Cloud Console. These are all examples of web consoles. APIs, Application Programming Interfaces, provide a programmatic way to interact with the management plane, allowing developers and scripts to automate tasks. 
These APIs are typically HTTP based, enabling standard web protocols to perform operations like create, read, update, and, and delete resources. SDKs, software development kits, provide a collection of software tools, libraries, and other relevant documentation that helps developers build applications that can interact with the management plane. And CLIs, command line interfaces, offer a text-based interface to managing the resources through commands. CLAs are often, or CLIs, not CLAs, are often favored by CISP administrators, command line warriors, as CLIs provide speed, repeatability, and the ability to script and automate complex sequences or tasks. So there we go. That's some different ways that we can access the management plane. And that is an overview of the management plane in domain three, covering the most critical concepts you need to know for the exam. Thank you.